clip and make some rod holders, big rod holders, for my chick machine part. So here we go.
got the line right here to drive that where I need to cut. Again for the rain, it's raining out here. Let's get this thing lined up.
Jordan. Clean it.
band-aids are going to go hit each other. And I can pack 12 of them. Okay. That's it for now. Okay, I'm going to take me a... This is it. Safe. I'm getting there. Okay, we're going to stop the breaking process. First, we're going to break the biggest one right here. This one side broke. I'm gonna go do these outside right here. To do that, we're gonna do it on this three and one plate. First we gotta do this other side. I forgot to do this one side, so we gotta go back over here and do it. Gonna do is get this strength, keep it from bending. Right, let's go back to this other one.
see the lip.
Okay, we're gonna ground these edges off, make them smooth. It sounds like it's gonna quit raining out there anyway. Put the air texture on. Alright, I got that sanded off. Looks pretty good. Wipe it down solid and put some primer on it. I'm back. Give me a leg. Well, you gotta have a good shop rags to wipe the stuff down with my paint. And something to get these damn things up to. Put a little cleaner on this. If any oil or anything left on it. You need some primer? I'm using some of this drops now, Liam. It's pretty good stuff. 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, while I wait to that guys, please leave your, I have it done while y'all don't need to watch paint dry. This is the finished product after it's been painted. The paint come out good. Looks real good. Okay, this will be the, the end of the video for this week. Uh, I'll catch y'all next week with a new video. I'll try to finish finish this and mount it to the TIG machine next week. If you would, please subscribe and leave a comment to my channel. And... I'll see you next week. Remember, if you can think it, you can do it.